Hi guys! Have you ever thought about taking the computer delivered IELTS test but maybe you're not sure what it involves? I've done lots of research for you today and in this lesson we're going to look at the pros and cons in great detail but very quickly. If you're enjoying my A to Z of IELTS please give me a like and subscribe. So what are the pros? Well, most people said the most important thing for them was the level of comfort and convenience. A lot of test centres have very small groups of people doing this test, so you feel less stressed, more relaxed, you can concentrate more, but always check with your test centre because each test centre is different. Also, you get your results more quickly. Some people got it in three days and it's usually five to seven days. So that's a real plus point. The second good thing about the computer test is that you can adjust lots of things. So here, for example, you've got the volume. You can adjust that and also the font size, the size of the text and even the colour of the text. So you can choose how you want it to look and make it easier for yourself. There are other techie things that can benefit you, such as the timer at the top. That's much better than the invigilator shouting out 10 minutes left, five minutes left. It does that for you, so it's a lot less distracting. There's also a word count you can see here at the bottom of the page, so that takes away the pressure of worrying how many words you've used, you don't need to count. And there are other features such as right clicking and highlighting certain parts of the text like that, or you can choose to write notes and a notepad pops up just like this. And there's a navigation bar at the bottom, which is great because you can click on questions that you think you'd like to come back to. And it shows you there very clearly. So if you have time at the end, you can go back and find those questions and check them again. So it gives you a level of control. Let's look at the different skills. Well, if your writing is terrible, of course, typing is going to make your writing look great. And you can edit very easily. And if you're a good typer, you can type fast and accurately. It will save you time and give you a bit more time at the end to check and proofread. As for the reading, well, the layout is very clear. So you don't waste time going backwards and forwards, turning the paper over. It's all on one screen with the text on the left and a scroll bar. Questions on the right with a scroll bar. So it's very easy to manipulate. And if there's a gap fill question, you can copy and paste. So you avoid making spelling mistakes when you transfer the answers as you have to do in the paper-based exam. The best thing about the listening? Well, you wear headphones. And in some centres, these are noise-cancelling headphones, but always check, that's not guaranteed. The benefit of headphones, you can focus, you can adjust the volume, as we said before. So are there any disadvantages? Well, yes. Some people report that the sound of other people typing can be very distracting. Some centres have quiet keyboards. It depends. That would drive me crazy. Also think about three hours staring at a screen. If that's normal for you, it doesn't bother you, great. For some people, that can be very tiring. We talked about the things you can adjust, but you can't actually write on the academic task one, which can be a problem because writing notes will help you notice the key features. However, you get a pen and paper to make notes, which might compensate a little. As for all of those things you can use, you of course need to be computer literate. You need to use all of these tools easily and quickly and be very familiar with them. For example, click and drag, that for some people may be something new and can cause frustration. 
and you can also waste time if you don't know how to use these features or if you're not familiar with how the test works. I have a solution for that later on in the video. For the writing, yes, it's great if you can type fast, but if you can't, it will slow you down. The other danger of typing very fast is that you don't notice your typos, your small mistakes. And some people end up writing too much just because they can write fast or type fast. And this often leads them to go off topic and lose any sense of structure because they have so much to say and they can say it very quickly. But remember, 250 words is all you need. Writing too fast may result in the time running out and not having enough time to go back and proofread. So time management is still an issue and that's up to you to control. As for the reading, well, there are very few disadvantages and most people said they thought it was much better and much easier to do this on screen. The listening, well, you do have to be able to type and listen at the same time. You have to multitask and you don't get that 10 minutes at the end to transfer. You do have time between the sections to check your answers, but you don't have that 10 minutes at the end, which a lot of people like to use to check their spelling. And some people reported that they can actually hear other people's listening tests, which can be very distracting, of course. So here's your mission. If you have any questions, do check out your test centre and see what they provide. Start practising by typing your task 2 on a computer under timed conditions so you get used to it. And of course, make use of the practice tests that are available online. I really like this IELTS Australia site and this Take IELTS one is also a good one. I'll put the links in the descriptions. I'd love you to let me know what you think. If you've done the test, tell me what it was like for you. If you have any advice you can offer. And I'd like to thank Jessica Beck from All Years English who talked to me about her experience of the CD test on my podcast. Thank you for watching again today. Do remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.